it's called vratnica. Vratnica, etymological meaning of uh, vratnica, vrata, it means gate. And really, from this place on, behind those hills, is the gate to the Bosnian Valley of the Pyramids. Behind the hills are the Bosnian Pyramids of the Sun and the Moon. Right now, we are standing on the conically shaped hill. When you were coming this way, I think you were able to see the round hill that goes uh, smaller and smaller to the top. So it's a conical shape. It's very important because the artificial conical hills are called in the archaeology tumulus or tumuli. Some of them are built in uh, southern England, some of them in western France, some of them in Bulgaria, Philippines and other places. It seems that this is the biggest tumuli in the Balkan region. So far the biggest tumuli is the Silbury Hill in southern England. Also there is a tumuli in Marlborough, southern England, Avery Hill and some others. Instinct thing about the Silbury Hill, we know it is completely artificial hill, but nothing has been discovered inside or under the tumuli in Silbury Hill. We discovered this place four years ago. At that time, Admir, who uh, lives here, he started excavation because one of the blocks where he is standing right now was exposed. It was exposed to the elements, and we can see this coloration. We can see the reddish color. It was exposed to the water, to the storms, and so on. And then we decided to start with the excavation. Soon after, we discovered this block, the other one, and the other one. So this was a huge megalithic terrace. Look at this block. From this side to the other one is 4 meters 40. From this side to the left side it's between 160 and 180. The thickness is about 63 centimeters. The weight is 23,600 kilos. So it is almost 24 tons. So far this is the biggest stone block which is uh, uh, discovered in any of the ancient monuments in the Balkan region. Next to this one is the other one, about 20 ton, 15 ton, 10 ton, 12 ton. So it's a huge megalithic terrace. A few features. Look at the surface. There is a texture on the surface. Almost the same like the texture at the foothill of the Bosnian pyramid of the moon. So if this is a construction material, then we are talking the same builders and probably the same time of the building. The next property, we can see the top layer. It is like a dark brown color, which is about 8 centimeters, and the base, which is lighter. The Institute for Materials from the University of Zenica did the sample testing and they concluded that the top layer has been glued to the base. So this is a two-layer block. And Mother Nature does not make two-layer blocks. That's what the man does. So what you're looking here is a man-made activity. Now, uh, two years ago we have done geological core drilling. It's very important. Namely, we started from the top. The top is about 32 meters above the road level. And I decided to go 70 meters deep, just to make sure that there is nothing under the structure. Most of the material that we are getting out was clay and uh, you know, these plates. Uh, 30 meters clay, 32 meters clay, 35 meters clay, and then the geologist in charge, Professor Kubat, which is leading geologist in Bosnia, he said, well, we're going to start here because it's natural material. I said, no, we are going to go to 70 meters in depth. And then 
we went to 40, 45, 50. At 54 meters, the head of the machine broke. The reason why it broke? Because it hits to something very hard. We changed the head. We were adding the water to cool down the machine. And then from 54 to 56 meters, we were extracting the concrete. So it was a big surprise for the geologist because the concrete was approximately 22 meters below the road level. So for 2 meters we were getting the concrete out and then for 3 meters there was empty space, hollow space. And then from 59 to 61, again, concrete material. From 61 to 70, clay mud, natural material. So most probably the first, the first two meters from 54 to 56, it was a concrete ceiling. From 56 to 59, there was a chamber. From 59 to 61, we had a concrete foundation. Now, the tumuli originally means hidden. It's from Latin. Archaeologists usually think that the tumuli or tumulus are the places where, you know, people are buried under the artificial hills. But like I said, in the case of Silbury Hill in England, nothing was discovered underneath. So right now, we do not know the purpose, but we have a lot of elements that are telling us that this is artificial hill. Now, if I can have a few uh, more minutes of your attention, I'd like to show you the profile section of the tumuli. So if you can come with me.